Hello, welcome to another episode of the Javar Latre podcast. I'm Javar Latre. Today we are talking about hygiene, washing, cleaning, perfuming, fragrances. So much. We're going to cover so much on this episode. So let's start the show. Uh, 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 Hello? Let's warm it up. It's your bar's world. It's Latre's world. I'm the speaker. You the listener. I'ma talk this and I'ma talk that. I'ma talk so much. Let's start this podcast. Welcome to the Javar Latre podcast. Like I said before, you know what you learned about cleaning and hygiene. Now, when I say this, I mean a month long discussion that has been going on and i feel like it started last year like it all started when they started asking people like hey do you wash your legs and then people be like no and that was the craziest thing i ever heard come looking like who doesn't wash their legs like that that doesn't you wash your whole body like when you in the shower you're supposed to like underarm underarm face body, your little booty, try to reach the back, uh, you know, do this little motion with the back right here, then you wash your leg, you wash your leg, and, you know, you get the thigh, and you get the, when you get the nether regions, you get the, ain't that what they call that, the nether region, I don't know what they call it, the nether regions, you get the thigh, you get your knees, you get your legs, and you get to your feet, because your feet, you know, it's kind of like your hands. You got to make sure they clean. You got to make sure they washed and stuff like that. So I'm not sure why people were skipping, like, the leg portion of that. Like, I was hearing most people was like, hey, you know, soap, water, it going to go to the leg anyway. You're going to get what you get, and that's it. And it's like, no, 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 no. You scrub too, because your legs might be dirty. You know, if you're wearing shorts, all that dirt from the ground that you're stepping on is coming up and rising like the Undertaker. It rises up and then it get on your leg. So you should watch that. I feel like that's where this whole conversation started. Like that was the beginning. That was the that was the prequel to what we are at now. And that is just watching your body in general, like how many times, you know, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take that back. Um, I remember when, bless her, late, the late Naya Rivera, I remember a while back she had came out and she said something about, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, don't quote me, but she said something about her husband washing his body every day. And she was like, you're only supposed to wash once in a while. And then everybody else was like, no. I remember that being a headline with her. And I feel like that's that's kind of like where it started. But it was like years ago, like way back and stuff before she died and stuff. But I remember a lot of people wasn't on her side with that. A lot of, a lot of my friends wasn't on her side. They was like, what is she talking about? Because she, she specifically... Think, think, um, don't quote me on this. She specifically said people of color does not wash like that every day. And being a person of color and knowing other people of color, we was like, no, that that's not, she's not speaking for all of us. I remember that. I don't remember the exact statement. I can't break, cause I just remember, it's not in my notes. Cause it just it just came into my head like a second ago. I was like, oh yeah, I remember mean, when she said that. But now fast forward to last year because you know it's a pandemic going on and people had time to think about like hygiene. Like they was like, man, when I take a bath again, you know, after wearing all these sweats and stuff like that, how many how long am I supposed to take a bath? Am I supposed to take it daily? Am I supposed to take it every other day? Is it supposed to be a weekly bath? Is it? And some of these, some of these answers is getting wild. Like some people are like, oh, you know, I just hit the underarm, 
You know, I, I don't even take a bath every day. I just hit the, I just, you know, get a wet wipe and just scrub a little bit. And I'm looking like, that's not, that's not good. That's not good. You're not supposed to be doing that. Like, that's not, mm -mm, uh -uh. So I went and I researched. I was like, maybe these people have a point. Maybe, maybe what they are saying is coming from somewhere. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to look up uh, the information so I can pass it on to people and see what, what somebody, like what a scientist or, you know, not just a little magazine that comes out once in a while or a little publication. I was like, what, what's the best I could find? So I found this Harvard Health Publishing and I'm not sure, is it supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be a blog where it supposed to came from a doctor. Like I said, doctor, somebody on it. I didn't write the name of the doctor on here because, you know, things get spread out and stuff. I didn't want to, but the doctor on the Harvard Health Publishing about cleaning your body. Yeah, yeah. So, hmm. I looked it up and, you know, I was like, how often do you supposed to wash, right? So, what I gathered from this is that the reason she's supposed to watch, all right, and this comes from Harvard Health Publishing from a doctor who published a blog on there. So you can take it out how you want with the, I know a lot of people right now are not trusting the doctors. Some people are trusting the doctors. It's a big scientific war going on right now. Like, ah, but you know, listen to the doctor on this. So the doctor said, the reasons that people shower every day is because they don't want body odor, 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 odor. I said odor, odor. Yeah, that's how you say it right there. Body odor. All right. When they wake up in the morning, it's a good start to your day. You wake up, you clean your butt, you get started with your day. That's just a normal habit of life, right there. Like that just should be simple education. You put one and plus one, how you get two. You know, but, and then they say that some people, it's just part of their morning routine. Like, again, waking up, clean your butt, do what you gotta do. That's it, all right? So, they say that's the reason for showering. So, they say the reasons against showering though. So this is what I'm trying to research for you guys. This is what I'm trying to research for the people, if you understand what I'm saying right now, okay. Okay, so it says, the reasons against shower. All right, they say normal, healthy skin. Okay, you're getting a lesson from me. See, I told y'all gonna be some lessons in this podcast. Normal, healthy skin maintains a layer of oil and a balance of good bacteria and other microorganisms. And washing and scrubbing removes these, especially if water is hot. You hear me? But see, I got a I got a contradiction to that. See, when I take my shower, I jump out of the shower and I put oil back on my body. It's kind of, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Like, oh, you just you got all that oil off your body. And then what I do, I roll myself back down with some hot oil. See, like Teddy Pendergrass, for any younger people, go look up Teddy Pendergrass. Uh, what is it, Love TKO? He's like, rub me in some hot oil, baby. That's why it's not hot oil, but it's oil. Rub me with some hot oil. Well, some oil. I mean, if you want to. Hey, give me a pass at me too. <laughs> but yeah, so when I get out the shower, I just rub myself with some oil, you know, come back with some more oils. I'll be rubbing down with the oil. The oil process is like a five to 10 minute process. Like it probably take me longer to rub the oil on my body than it actually took me to take the darn shower because you gotta hit the face. I make sure the face is shiny. I make sure the hands, I mean, my hands is kind of, you know, it's kind of ash right now, but I got rough hands anyway. So, you know, that from years ago, from years ago, I was a little kid, for some reason, I stopped putting on lotion. And because I was like, man, all this lotion, I could just head to school and be done with life. And it turns out I probably should have been putting on lotion and oil and stuff like that. So, you know. To the kids, make sure you put on your oils, kids, and your lotions. 
stuff you don't want to have. I know y'all hear that. Oh snap, hit the mic. I know y'all hear that. I know y'all hear that. That's roughness right there. That's rough. Just, just no lotion, no oil. Going out to these hard earth streets and picking up stuff and just being rough. I tried, I tried to get them back to soft, but they don't work. Hmm? I tried honey, sugar scrub, I tried it all, it don't work, I don't, I'm not sure. If anybody want to help me, hit me up, hit me up to get my hands back to normal. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, I rub, I, I put oil on my body, so I'm not sure about that. Like, that is, that kind of contradicts me right there, where it's like, oh, you taking the oil off. I'm like, no, I put them all back in. So, <laughs> that could your argument on that one. <laughs> so, um, let's see. It say, um, because, it's also, with the oil, it say skin may become dry, irritated, itchy. Again, you put the oil back on your skin. I'm not sure why people would take a shower, especially with hot water and soap, and not put oil back on the skin. Like, I'm not sure why that, like, Maybe some people just didn't learn from where I learned from. I learned, you know, back then, like, hey, you don't put oil. Now your hands are rough. Now it's all dry and checked and stick. And now life ain't good for you no more. Now nobody want to touch your hands. Nobody want to hold hands with you. All right. They said that this can allow skin infections and allergic reaction due to dry, cracked skin. And I feel like now that I'm reading this, we are continuing to go back to the oil day. Like you put oil back on your body after you get out the shower. Like it's like one, two, cocoa butter, three, four, shea butter, five, six, coconut, seven, eight. I, I, dang, I'm feeling too good about that. I knew I was gonna lose a name of an oil sooner or later. But uh, yeah, put the oil back on your skin, people. Um, it says antibacterial soap and can encourage the emergence of organisms more resistant to antibiotics. And I'm not sure how people scrub. Like, I'm thinking like, cause I don't know. I always had, like, I always think about this right here. Like, okay, we take a shower, right? And we washing our bodies with water. Don't that mean that the, back, the bacteria is leaving your body like it's leaving like the same bacteria ain't gonna be there anyway because you just showered so even if it's resistant it's gone it's just like gone you, that bacteria going down the drain <laughs> and, <laughs> but apparently you know bacteria i know it can get resistant to stuff but i don't know i feel like the, the water taking the bacteria away from you right now like shouldn't that be uh should that be in play when it comes to the antibacterial soap argument that it can you know encourage resistant antibi antibacteria and stuff like that they don't want to fight back with you down the drain i'm not sure how you fight in, in the drain i don't understand that but um yeah that was one of the arguments see i'm, I'm pretty much killing these arguments all and bacteria go down the drain anyway. I mean, it's Javar science, but it's science, so who listen to his regular science anymore? <laughs> anyway, okay, it say it reduced the ability of the immune system to do its job, okay? Because of the bacteria and your body's supposed to collect all this nature stuff and your immune system supposed to like you know, gather it and research it and develop like bacteria that like uh, 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 3D. Uh. But um, yeah, I think I think my immune system is pretty good. I don't know. I don't know too many people that take baths every day that have some, like too bad for the immune system. Like I don't know. I, I don't. I know people, and I don't know too many people who's like. <laughs> I should never took five to seven baths a day. What was I thinking? Oh God, I don't know what was going on with my life back then. 
I should have, I should have been, I should have been like the other kids and wash my butt three days, every day, three days, once a week, you know, twice at the most. Should have did it on Monday and then on Friday just to cover up work week. But now I think about it. <laughs> what was I thinking? Huh? What was I thinking? Wash my butt Monday, come home. Why my butt Tuesday, come home. Why my butt Wednesday, come home. Why my butt Thursday, come home. Why my butt Friday, come home. Then Saturday, I didn't have to go to work. But you know what I did? I got in that shower and I washed my butt again. That's what I did. And now I just look back at myself and be like, what were you thinking, guy? What were you thinking washing your butt all those times? Yeah, man. Yeah. That do sound like a pretty, pretty interesting story, but, you know. Hey, why he die? You know what I mean? Granddad just kept washing his butt. And that's what he was. We told him, he's like, Granddad, stop washing your butt every day. Granddad's like, nah, I gotta make sure that I'm clean. That this odor is not coming off of me. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so, this is what they recommend for, um, it's their recommendation. So they say, several times a week, take your shower. Unless you're grimy, sweaty, or there's some other reasons. I guess if you're like a serial killer and there's blood all over your body, you're good. You ain't gotta take a shower. You know, just go to the police station and be like, hey, there's blood all over my body. And then, you know, make life easier for some people. You know, you ain't gotta make it hard for everybody. Just go ahead and, you know, make it easy. Have the blood on you. Go to the police station, turn yourself in. I mean, for them, for the serial killers, but for everybody else, you know, um, clean your butt. This one. <laughs> but they say that you should also take short showers. You know, now you got to save the water and stuff like that. It's not like the old days where you could just see a, a lake or an ocean and you just wash your butt like everybody else do and stuff like that. And then somehow the lake it connects to the creek and the creek connects to the river and then it's the circle of water life and then you know it comes in the sky and then it rains down and it refreshes itself now we got like poison and all that stuff so the amount of water is like you know, do, 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 do. i'm like where the water at where the water at and then you know so you know you probably shouldn't, you probably shouldn't use too much water you know you could drink a lot of water though. Apparently you could drink a lot of water on the inside, but water on the outside is bad. That's the science, not my science. You heard Javar science. So yeah, they say you need to take short showers, three to five, four minutes a day. Not even five, no one gave you five. You kicked it to that five minute point. You don't care about life. That's, <laughs> come on kid. So three to four. That's all you get. You you get between that three and four. You whoo, you are cutting it close there, buddy. You you need to you need to get it together. So don't tell me that you do not care about the earth. You do not care about the planet. Okay, you are just gonna waste a lot of water that somebody else could be using, or say somebody else could be wasting. You know. So that's up to you. But uh, they say focus on your armpits and your growings. I'm, I'm really not sure why they don't say hands. You need to get the hands, you know. Then you need to get your neck. Don't forget the back of your neck. Because some people forget the back of their neck. And then their neck got that little dark spot. It's like rust or something on it. And like if you like do like this, you know, like, Ooh, boy, your neck is nasty. And then, you know, so make sure you get your neck. Make sure you get your neck. And um, make sure you get your feet and your legs. And everything just hit every day. I don't, I don't understand why people get in the shower and just don't hit every day. Like every day is in the shower with you, hit everything. Like I don't understand why that was like even a problem. Like it still is like mind balling to me. Like oh, I just get in the shower and I just clean my underarms and I just clean my groin here and I just clean my butt here and then I walk up out the shower. Like no, why would you? Why would, why, would, why would you stop there? Clean the rest of your body. Like the whole body is in the shower. It's all going in the shower with you. Clean whatever. Be like uh, Mufasa. Whenever, wherever the sun touch, 
is our kingdom. Whatever the water can touch is your body. Clean that thing, okay? So, you know, I, I don't know. I, that's still, that's still mind-balling to me right there. It's like, am I saying that right? My ball? Yeah, that's my right. So, that's a good recommendation. But I found a better recommendation from someone I trust, from someone I know gonna tell me the right thing, and someone that you know, if he ever wants to, I'm just gonna give him away. He could run for president of the United States, <laughs> and he probably got my vote because he got a lot of movies out there that I'd be like, "This is gonna work." Then when I watch it, and they got him in it, I'll be like, "Wow, this <laughs> this is amazing! It worked." So, The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he came out and he told everybody his shower routine, and this is what Dwayne said, right? Dwayne The Rock Johnson, one of the greatest human beings, probably on the face of the earth. I mean, who, who, who can you say? Who, 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 who? Like, I never met the guy, but some people you just know, right? You just know they're just a good human being. So The Rock said, when he wakes up, he get out the bed, he turns on the shower, and you know what he do? He take a cold shower. When he first got out the bed, take a cold shower. I don't know if he washed his legs. He didn't say if he washed his legs. But no, I'm the rock. He probably washed his legs. Yeah, he probably washed his legs. And then he get out the shower. Then he go and do a workout. Go and work out. And then after he work out, he take a warm shower. So he turn a little cold on. He turn a little hot on. And then he take a warm shower. And then he go to work. And then when he get back home from work, he take a hot shower. And that's Rod takes three showers a day. And some people don't even want to take one. So I don't know. That guy's very successful. And I'm gonna follow the successful guy. You know, they can probably get anybody. Anybody. Just putting that out there. Um, <laughs> so, you probably saying, Javar, what, what you do? What you do? So, Javar, right? That's what I do. I don't take these three showers a day. The Rock, he's not doing the most. I'm probably just doing too little. He made me feel bad. I was like, dang, maybe I need to step it up. So, me, I wake up. And I pretty much combine this into one shower. I turn on the cold, hit my body, wipe myself up, everything. I rub everything down. Cold water, Javar. Rinse myself off. Turn the water on hot. Then it get too hot because I, I my shower at home it get too hot. You know? Dad fixed on there at one point. It just get too hot. It's like burning hot. It's on fire. It's gonna burn some skin. So I'm like ah. So when I do the ah part, you know, I turn on the I turn back on the cold water. I'm like, and then wipe myself off. Do everything again. Every single day from my head to my toes, I touch with the rag. And then that's another, you know, that's another discussion. We ain't gonna even talk about the rag, it's not the rag. Every day. Then I hit it with the wall. And then just to make myself feel good again, I do a little icy high. Turn, turn the hot back off and just sit in the cold. And then I get out. And then I oil myself down. I oil sweet. Sweet hot oils, baby. Like Teddy Pendergrass told me to rub myself down. And then I could go on with my day. You know? and that's my shower for the day. Um, I know some people take showers when they get back from work and stuff, but sometimes I do. If I'm like really dirty, I do. But uh, yeah, The Rock, he's a good recommendation. Um, but then you can also smell like Rihanna, you know? Uh, Rihanna got a perfume out. And apparently, Rihanna is one of the best smelling celebrities on earth. Um, people like Lil Nas X, Cardi B, Jennifer Lawrence, Jim Parsons. She actually released a video of all the people saying how good Rihanna smells, even tweets. 
Like people just met her on tweets and they's like, you know who smell good? Rihanna. So Rihanna was like, y'all really want to smell good? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna release my own perfume that smells just like me. And apparently this perfume that she released is called Fenty Eda Perfume. Mm -hmm. I'm a French for the day. It got ingredients like magnolia, musk, tangerine, blueberry totes. I don't know what that means, but I was watching reviews and people kept saying it got blueberry totes. And I was like, I don't know. That is so cool. Uh, Bulgarian Rose Absolute. Um, geranium, I don't know, geranium, I'm not sure who named that, yeah, you must stay down the street, and Petrudia, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, come on, all that, and you know what, it costs $120, that's a lot of money, I don't use perfume or cologne and stuff like that, I put on deodorant, you know, but that's all you get it for me, I mean, sometimes I might, you know, but yeah, that's, shoot, what, $120? I thought, you know, I ain't gonna lie, when I just saw this, I was like, man, she give me that for about 30 to 40, I, I, I get that, but I didn't know it was 120 until I just read it, oh my goodness, and it's sold out, I'm not sure how many was out there, but she sold that thing out, and um, I was reading reviews about it and stuff, and you know, some people were saying that, they was like, the good thing is that it lasts long, like it lasts as long as it's like they was like it lasts long, but they saying at the same time it got a very light smell. Like some people's like it's Rihanna. I thought it's gonna be like super saiyan. Ah, it's gonna be everywhere. Like oh my goodness, I smell you. I smell you. But uh, apparently it wasn't. And somebody even said it. Like if you look at the ingredients for it, and you look at the ingredients for baby lotion, it's the, it's the same ingredients. It's like it's, it's the same thing. They say it smell like baby lotion. So. You know, I guess I just gotta meet Rihanna myself, and then I gotta, I gotta be like, Rihanna, come here. Can I smell you real quick? Okay, no more. Soon. Or we could just ask ASAP Rocky. I guess that would be a pretty easier way. But you know, going through this, I found out so much. Like I didn't know there was different. I didn't know there was levels to this perfume stuff. See, cause there's perfume, right? And it's extract dead perfume. <laughs> Another French word. And it just means perf perfume. That's what it means. And it's just like something with high fragrance concentration of like the fragrance is high concentrated, but it could last for like six to two, six to eight hours. But then like what Rihanna got is called a dead perfume, right? And it like lasts four to five hours. And it's like 15 to 20 percent fragrance concentration, but the rest is like alcohol. And then there's et de toilette. I heard somebody say that that meant toilet water, but I'm not sure. I think they was playing on the internet on that one. But from the source I got this from, it said that it lasts two to three hours, and it's like five to 15 percent fragrance concentrate. Concentrate, and they're like it's more of a day wear when like you wear it during the day, and then et de perfume you wear it mostly at night, and you kind of, I guess if you wear a perfume, just a regular perfume, then it lasts all day long, because it's like six to eight hours, you know? So, but apparently perfume is like the most costly of the list. And then they got Ed de Cologne, and that's like two to four percent fragrance concentrated, but the rest of it's like alcohol. So you just smell it strong, like, strong and it only lasts up two hours so i guess that's like club right there you know guys in front of the cologne it did cologne remember that like man you only got two hours with me that's all you got you better spit your game <laughs> and then uh they got it i think i said that right. uh it is like one to three percent concentrate and it lasts up to two hours but it's like mostly water right but you know, it's not very little alcohol, but mostly water. So, you can, so yeah, I didn't know there was levels to perfume, but uh, yeah, that's crazy. But would you uh, do you want to smell like Rihanna? Like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people, I just gave you a little list. So there's a whole list of people who said, like, Rihanna is the best smelling person they've ever smelled on this earth. 
They said some, some people say she smells like heaven. They like she smells like heaven. If I went to heaven and smell like Rihanna, I know I made it. And um Yeah. How often do you wash? If you wanna ask it that, you can, you know, you ain't got to. You ain't got to put you. That's another thing like this lady. They put all their stuff out there. Nobody asked. I mean somebody asked them, but why y'all asking these people how much they wash? That's not good for certain things, okay? But either way, we'll be back next time on the Javarla Trey Podcast. See ya! Thank you for listening to this episode of the Javarla Trey Podcast. Follow me at Javar TV on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. If you want to discuss the topics from this episode or give me a topic for next episode, leave a comment under my post. Until next time, remember, you are loved, and I'll see you later.